that. So we are also, we've done this all morning, tracking this reaction today to a development in what will likely be uh, one of the biggest court cases in our state's history. Three Tacoma police officers charged in the death of Manny Ellis last year. Those officers are headed to court for their first appearance in just a couple of hours now. But now I want to bring in Terry Rogers Kemp. She's a criminal defense attorney and activist. She was tapped last year for the governor's task force on police reform. So we wanted to bring you back in and talk a little bit uh, with you today, Terry. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So, I mean, first things first, now that we have this news and we know what's happening, uh, talk about your thoughts on the charges for these officers. I have not had an opportunity to read the charging document, so I cannot speak to the actual charges. I would say that the defense bar, I'm sure, would join me in saying that these officers have a right to due process throughout the entire system. It's the same way that Mr. Manuel Ellis had the right to due process. So, uh, Terry, I, I know I mentioned this at the top, but you, last year, you were tapped for the governor's task force on, on police reform and police accountability. Um, so, if, so from your perspective, what does that look like when it comes to police reform? I think that it is important with respect to police reform to remember to include the overall uh, police authority, which is the prosecutor. Uh, I was tapped to be on the governor's task force. That was a blessing. But I was um, there as a member of community. And as a community, uh, we worked not only on an independent investigation office, but also on an independent prosecutor. This case is a perfect example of the need for an independent prosecutor of local prosecutors. And every case from Ms. Charlena Lyles to Mr. Sean Fur, Yosiah Falatogu, it needs to be reinvestigated by this independent investigation office. And also the independent prosecutor should step in or the AG until that happens in actually making determinations on whether to charge. And if nothing else, this case is the example for that. And that's interesting that you bring that up because we have heard from other families who are unfortunately dealing with this similar situation and they're going, you know, this is, this is great for the family of Manny Ellis that they can, you know, seek that justice. But a lot of other families are looking for justice as well. Is that possible with what the system looks like at this point? I think that it is. There is no statute of limitations on murder or homicides, and there never has been, uh, in my humble opinion, a proper criminal investigation conducted of any of these cases that we are talking about. Most particularly recently, uh, Mr. Yosta Balotogo. Mr. Sean Fur, Ms. Charlena Lyles, uh, my chance Dunlap Gittins, that very young child who was a victim of homicide by police. It can happen that these are given proper criminal investigations by an independent body, including an independent prosecutor, and that justice not just for these families, but for the whole human community of Washington State is served. Terry Rogers Kemp could not have said that better myself. Appreciate having you on this morning, and we love your perspective on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.